was there that day at Parkland. He's a survivor of the shooting. He's a high school student in Parkland. He says he was recently called in for questioning by school officials for daring to go to a gun range with his dad. Kyle joins us tonight. Um, so, Kyle, am, am I? Thank you for coming on. Am I misstating that? Did w tell us what you did that earned you a trip uh, to visit with armed authorities at your school? What was your crime? It wasn't even a trip. It was an interrogation. It was it was a clear attempt to intimidate me, and they used very, very, very harsh intimidation tactics. I mean, at the end of the day, I went shooting with my dad at a gun range. I mean, I did everything peacefully. Um, and I went shooting with my dad, and I, I did absolutely nothing wrong. I mean, I posted a video of me showing um, my admiration for the Second Amendment and telling people to educate themselves about the Second Amendment because right. we can't trust our government to defend ourselves. So you went to a gun range with your dad, which I think is still legal uh, in this country, and you'd think that yeah. we would encourage this because you learn gun safety and how to handle a gun appropriately. You didn't misuse it. You got called in and interrogated. What questions could they have asked you? What, what would be the interrogation? So I come into the office, okay, and this is, it was all very, very weird. I get sit down, and the school resource officer goes like this. He says, Kyle, you're taking five AP classes. You're such a good student. Why would you do something like this? And I was, I was in shock. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, why would you do something like this? And I, they came in there with the notion that I had done something wrong by going to a gun range. So I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, you tweeted out a video of you at a range. I said, did you see the tweet? He said, no, I didn't see the tweet. I don't, I don't do Twitter. So I'm like, well, then check the tweet. The tweet in itself was a video of me shooting a fire and telling people to educate themselves about the Second Amendment. So we talk back and forth, and then the Broward Sheriff's Officer comes into the room. Um, he comes in the room. He sits, he sits right behind me, very, very, very close. And then the interrogation truly starts. They go, whose gun is it? Who'd you shoot it with? Why'd you shoot it? Who'd you shoot it with? Is it your gun? Is it your dad's gun? When did you go? And at this entire time, I was like, did I do anything wrong? I mean, it's still America. Last time I checked, I can go to a gun range and, sh and shoot it peacefully. And then I said, what? Like, did I do anything wrong? And they said, don't get snappy with me. And then I was like, all right, can I record this? And they said, no. And I mean, Wait, in what? reality, they, they did not allow you to record the conversation. Why? Nope, I explicitly asked, I asked the school resource officer, may I record this? And he said no. And you told them you were clear that you were with your father. Mm-hmm. And that they, they, they were very, they, they tried to somewhat tell me, or to, to intimidate me, to somehow incriminate my father. It was a real push. They came in there, tr like, knowingly and saying that I was at fault for doing, for exercising my Second Amendment right at a gun range. And it comes down to this. It comes down to this. Why should, why should I be interrogated for peacefully going to a gun range? I asked them, I was like, did I do anything wrong? They said, no, you're not a threat. So why are they calling down me? Why are they calling down me? Is, this, is every single individual going to a gun range going to be called down? What is the end to it? Because it's a clear, it's, it's, it's a clear road to, to, to tyranny. Well, maybe because I have children, I sympathize with your father. He's an adult American citizen, correct? Yeah. I mean, he has a right I to mean, take his son where he wants within the bounds of the law without getting second guessed by some school person. I mean, it's pretty. What did, absolutely. And finally and quickly, what did he say about this? My dad has been in shock. He doesn't understand how something so, so, like, something so small can turn into something like, why, why was my son being interrogated? The, the school research office hadn't even called my father about this. They didn't even know I was going to meet him. Yeah. They didn't know this. Yeah, because they, they, they don't care about his rights uh, as a parent at all. Kyle, thanks a lot. That's, that's, a, that's quite a story, and I appreciate your telling it. I mean, Tucker. Okay, thank you. Thanks. A wave of...